Another question? Okay. That's just back here. I've never heard about the Henry Mancini session. Were they exciting? How, how many tracks were they? And, uh, were they all one take? Atari and Peter Gunn? Uh, Peter Gunn was, uh, was different. Uh, that was done to uh, two track. That was all done live to two track. Um, when we got to like Atari and, and that, it was uh, three and four track. But Hank was great. He, uh, we did, did the dates usually from eight to 11. And you know, back in those days, if you went a minute past 11, all the musicians got a half hour overtime. So it'd be like two minutes to 11, we just finished the last take and say, oh, Hey, Dick Pierce was the producer. That's great, Hank. We got it. That's fantastic. Thanks, Hank. Say, no, no, no. He said, I heard something out here. We got to do one more take. And we do one more take, and it would go like one minute, a minute and a half over, and all the guys got their overtime, half hour overtime. And he did it on every session. <laughs> <laughs> and it was his way of thanking all the musicians awesome. out there. Oh. He did it all the time. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> that was, he was a beautiful man. I mean, what a talent. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Hey, Al, okay, who yeah. played guitar on Peter Gunn? Uh, was that the Bobby Desk? Bain. Oh, Bobby Bain? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, great sound. But in the way back there. Is that me? I think so. At home and in your car, what music do you listen to, Al? Oh, uh, God, I listen to uh, some classical music and... Uh, Slip on. Take a lot of, I take a lot of things... <laughs> I take a lot of things home that I've done and listen at home, you know, kind of study them. And, and uh, my wife is always playing things I've done, so when I come home, there's always music on. If, and uh, I get a chance to study the things I've done. You know, I, I, I have never, ever made a record that I was 100% happy with. I always felt I could have done something a little bit better on, on, on that record. And there isn't one record I've ever done that I don't feel like that. Yeah. I've, I've never done, for me, the perfect record. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and maybe it's just not possible. But uh, so I listen all the time to try to. Uh, I listen in the car uh, to try to learn about uh, what I'm doing. You know, I try different things, maybe different echo, and you know. So I listen to see if that's. Uh, while I'm in the process of mixing, I listen. I take things home and listen and change the echo sometimes when I come back the next day. We have time for one more question. Probably just go to this gentleman right here in the front. Uh, two quick ones. Uh, Al, a uh, few years ago, I had a chance to uh, watch a session you did at Capitol with Arturo Sandoval. You were doing his uh, Trumpet Evolution album. And I was wondering if there was any special technical issues you had in, in capturing his sound. Um, also, I have another quick question is, uh, back in the 70s, there was a uh, recording process of direct-to-disc. I just wanted to know if you had any experience um, working with that process and, and what that was like. So, this first yeah, I've done, done a lot of direct-to-disc uh, records. Actually, when I started, everything was direct-to-disc. <laughs> 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 so I've done a lot of those. Uh, but, uh, and on, on the uh, Arturo Sandoval record, you know, he, nobody can play as loud as he can. And uh, we wound up, we tried different mics, and we wound up using a Roya ribbon mic, but it was like five feet from him and, and maybe up above the bell. And, uh, and that's, we, we, he overloaded everything, otherwise he was just so strong. But uh, that's a great record. I love that record. And he used... Uh, a different trumpet on on each song. He he used Dizzy's trumpet on one tune, the one that goes up, 
he uh, he is another trumpet, a, a famous old trump, trumpet player called Mig Miguelito Valdez, and uh, he was another one of those big blasting trumpet players. Uh, so yeah, we had to keep the mic off from him. That was the best way. But that that record came out very nice. I liked that record a lot. That was a good record. I liked Arturo. He smoked great cigars. <laughs> <laughs> when I was um, when I was in the service, I was in the Navy. You know, all these guys had lockers, and uh, and and uh, you know they had the pinup girls back in those days, and all the lockers. My locker opened it up and had a picture of Dizzy Gillespie with his cheeks out there. <laughs> <laughs> I would uh, be honored to uh, ask questions all night, and uh, unfortunately, we don't have the whole evening, but Al, thank you so much for sharing time with everybody here this evening. Thank you to uh, Steve Ukather, George Benson, and Natalie Cole for joining us up here this evening. And all of you out there for coming down here this evening.